welcome everybody to another episode of Human Fall Flat Secrets, Tips, and Tricks. And we're starting off with a big one here today. Starting off where I left off on the last episode, I showed you guys that there is a secret voice on the level Steam. But I promised you that I would show you all how to get up here. So, to kick off this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get up onto this big old crane here. And it's actually quite simple. Do the puzzle normally, starting up this big wheel that leads to the exit. But, when the wheel starts to spin really, really fast, grab onto it and let it swing you just a little bit. Let go at the right moment and then you'll land on top of the crane. As simple as that. Now it may take you a couple tries, so don't get mad if you don't make it your first time. I didn't either, but yeah, this is how you get up here onto the crane. Now next up, this is a little bit of a uh, helping hand for the level castle. Once you get to the windmill part, if you need an extra a little bit of a jump to get across this gap, take this barrel to this position and put it sideways and then kind of push it over the edge. And then once it starts to lean a little bit further over the edge, you want to grab onto it and give a nice big jump and push yourself off onto the other side. It really does help clear that gap. Now, this next thing is a cool little thing you might not have known of in the level train when you're in this little cart part. You may not know this because you're trying to finish the puzzle, but this cart right here connected to the front of the train, you can actually open and get inside, meaning if you're playing online with people and they're a little bit behind, you can hide in here and then they can try and find you and you can play a little game of uh, hide and seek. But yeah, this is a nice little hidden detail that you might not have known about this level. All right, I'm doing this one now because I've been seeing all the comments talking about how I left this part out or how there's an easier way to do this. But in a previous episode, I mentioned you can use a stick in the castle level to bend the bars to get through this next puzzle. But I'm finally mentioning it here. You don't need the stick. You can use your arms. Come on, guys. There's more than one way to solve a puzzle. But yes, you don't really need this stick. You can just bend the bars using your own hands. Who knew Bob was so strong? All right, this next one is going to be another way of clearing a gap. This is going to be on the level dark. Now, once you get through this door, I want you to take this plank that's actually blocking the doorway and bring it over here to these two little trees tree trunks that are like hanging out right here I want you to sit it flat on top and what you're gonna do here is stand up on top of it grab it and then begin to jump and as you do this you're gonna be able to jump across the gap watch here in a second take it and jump across and then at the right moment jump off of it grab onto the ledge and you'll clear this gap it's an easy way to get up nice and quick don't need to chop down any trees now sticking with the level dark, I'm going to show you guys a nice little cool shortcut here. Go into the mining area and then you'll come upon the little mining cart that you're supposed to pull to get the coal for the smelting area. But you'll see that there's a stone path to the right. I want you to take the one, not right here with these rocks, I want you to take the one to the left right here. You might need to throw some rocks out of the way, but this actually leads to a later part of the map right next to the minecart that you might have seen before, but there are these wood planks that are kind of cracked. What you want to do here is actually climb up here and take this little stone that's sitting right here and use it to break through the wooden boards and this will spit you out right next to the minecart. It's a cool little thing. I've always wondered what these wooden planks were here for. Turns out it was a secret shortcut to get you to the minecart faster. It's pretty cool. Alright, real quick before we continue, if you understand the life of our old pal Bob here, then say no more. Check out my new t-shirt, Live Fall Flat Repeat, perfect for any human fall flat fan. Go ahead and check it out, the link will be in the description and it will also be the pinned comment in the comment section. Check it out, buy some merchandise, support the channel, and show your love for human fall flat. Back to the video. Welcome back, as we are now here on the ice level, this is the final puzzle. Get on this gondola, 
and this is actually part of getting to a secret achievement that is actually not available on PlayStation for you PlayStation players. Get onto this gondola and ride it around all the way one time and you'll get this exclusive trophy. I believe that it is only exclusive to Xbox and PC players, but you'll end up getting this very cool exclusive trophy called Taking the Piss. And finally, for this Human Fall Flat Secrets Tips and Tricks video, I'm gonna show you all the new hidden voice on the level ice. Yes, I was so excited to find this hidden voice so quickly into this level's release. All you have to do is go to this house at the top of this hill where the fireplace and all that stuff is. All you gotta do is simply get up to this house, walk into the front door, and an old man will yell at you to get off his property. for my property. Well, thank you for joining me for another episode of Human Fall Flat Secrets, Tips, and Tricks. Don't forget to check out the Live Fall Flat Repeat t-shirt. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. And from me and Bob, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.